I'm Ellen Jaffe Jones, the author of Eat Vegan on $4 a Day. I am a certified personal trainer, certified running coach, and I have placed in my age group 52 times since 2006. I'm third in the state in Florida in my age group in the 200, 400, and 1500 meters, and I was the fifth oldest female to finish the very first marathon I did in 2010 the Palm Beaches Marathon, fifth oldest female. So people are always asking me, how do you do what you do? How do you be 60 and do this injury free? So the series of videotapes that I hope you have been watching show how you can do this. And of course, always check with the doctor before embarking on any new exercise program. So just to recap, because it's important to do these exercises in sequence, after you've done your 20 minute warm up, whether it's walking or running, you are walking on your toes, and then you are walking on your heels, and then you are walking uh, pigeon toed, and you do 20 repetitions or 20 seconds of each of these. Wherever you are, try and get yourself outside. It's so much more fun than staying inside. So that was walking outside pigeon toed. And also, uh, let's see. So then we're gonna be doing um, arm circles, big arm circles, and then reverse that. And I wasn't really skipping backwards, but just trying to get in position. So you should be doing this forward. And then little arm circles forward and then little arm circles backwards like that. Okay, and then we showed you knees are out to the side like this. You're trying to touch your elbows and going forward. And then we go into lunges with hands on hips or in the T formation. You just want to make sure that you can see especially your big toe or your toes as you lunge out. And you are landing mostly on your heel. You just wanna feel that quadricep, the thigh muscle, very fired up as you do that. So after we do the basic lunge, then we're gonna do lunge with a twist. Twisting from the waist, lunging forward, twi uh, twisting toward the outside from the waist, keeping the upper body nice and firm and erect, and then you reverse it, twisting toward the inside. Now I hope you'll look at my other videos where I show two of these exercises at a time in detail. I am just recapping the sequence of the exercises so that if you are incorporating today's additional exercises in your routine, you add it on to the group that we've already started you with. Okay, so lunges, and then the last group we have done so far has been side slides, where you are going with your arms above your head and just taking a step at a time and making sure that you reverse the direction once you get to the end of whatever uh, line you are doing. Um, also, we have showed you collecting blueberries. Let's see, that should have actually gone in before the side slides. And you know, if you get these, one or two of these out of order, it's not a big deal. So with the collecting blueberries, you're taking three steps at a time with your extended foot heel flexed and you reach down, you mainly want to just be stretching your back muscles, lower back in particular on that one, as well as all the muscles on the back of your legs. All right, so today's edition is going to be one of my favorites. After you do the side slides, you have set yourself up for a little dancing called karaoke. I don't know where that name came from, but that's what it's called. All the kids do it. So you're going to be doing a twist with your waist. And my wireless microphone isn't working, so we're uh, tethered to the cord here. I hope I have backed up far enough that you can actually see this. So in slow motion, it's going to be a step across your front and then bring the back leg around and then bring that leg that was forward behind and you're twisting your hips as you do this. So this is fun. It's just a really a little dance step. So we're only gonna focus on this one today because it is a little more complicated. So you're going to be just twisting the hips and your shoulders are going to be following in, uh, being following behind. So forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And then of course you want to reverse everything you do one way, you want to reverse it the other direction. So we're starting with the left foot over and twisting the hips as the right foot comes behind. And hopefully I don't go so far, I pull the camera over. All right, so that's called karaoke, and incorporate that into your routine as you do these dynamic warm-up exercises, which will help you, I believe, 
to avoid injury and just enjoy the aerobic activity that you do, whatever it is you're doing for the day. I'm Ellen Jaffe-Jones, gotta run.